Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. We're going to get advanced in, in this breakout tutorial. Uh, and I love going through this stuff, it's so, so fascinating. And the fact that we can actually do it inside of Power BI uh, in a you know, relatively efficient way, I would say, uh, is, is so powerful, so powerful. And this, this, this analysis can really, really bring a lot of value uh, to organizations if you can implement it well. So what I wanted to show here really is who are the lost customers, okay? Now, this dashboard that we're looking at here, this is this is uh, this was part of the a recent Enterprise DNA Learning Summit. This was an attrition analysis session, uh, and there is a lot baked into this one dashboard. And I'm not going to go through it all today because that's what I actually covered during an, an, over an hour session during the summit. Um, I want to focus here on how am I finding based on any monthly selection who are who are my lost customers okay so you see here what i'm doing is i can click into a different month and these this these this table is changing is changing for the amount of customers who are considered who we are considering lost in any particular month so you'll see here see this number here we've got minus seven so we're considering out of all of the customers who traded with us we're saying okay well seven of our customers we are considering lost by the logic that we implemented and these are those seven customers and then if i click select here you'll see these are 16 customers if i select back here 15 8 12 and see this table is dynamic based on on the monthly selection that we have here and if I don't select anything, what happens is it actually lists the company and the particular month that they are considered, that they are the customer and the month that they are considered lost. And why this is just so powerful is because you know this could be this could um, dictate your sales strategy, your marketing strategy, your advertising strategy, your email campaign strategy. All of this analysis is is, is really powerful and valuable stuff. Okay. Now. How do we do it? How do we do it? Now, I've covered a few of these ideas in post videos, so I do want to do a bit of a review there, but then also I ultimately want to show you how I created this one. Now, how you consider, and I do get asked this a lot, and this is, this is certainly open up for debate, right? How you consider or what is a lost customer can totally vary, okay, depending on business you're in, industry you're in, um, what you even just decide internally, right? It's totally variable. And all I want us to say is that the technique that I've devised here can be reused based on what you decide, okay? In this particular example, what I've decided is I've decided that if a customer has not purchased for an, for the within the last two months, but they did purchase at any time in the prior 10 months to that ten, two months, then that is what we are considering lost in this particular example, okay? So how do we do it, okay? So how do we actually calculate how many lost customers there are? Well, basically this is this virtual tables concept that I've come up with. And we need to bang two virtual tables together. We've got, we need to find a list of our customers who've purchased off us in the last two months or 60 days. And then we need to find a list of customers who purchased off us the 10 months before that, okay? And then we need to compare these two tables of customers and see, okay, well, which customers don't exist? Which customers don't exist in the table from the last two months but did in the, in the prior uh, 10 months to that? Okay, and that's what this particular formula is doing, and that's what Calculate Table enables us to do in, in any particular month. Okay, so we are creating virtual tables here, and Calculate Table is a perfect one because it's very similar to Calculate in that you can change the context of a calculation, but in this case, we're changing the context of a table. The table is the customer names. The customer name index in this case because what this will do is we'll say okay well show me a uh, a list of customers that purchased off us because we will know that they purchased because they are actually sitting this is actually sitting within the sales table that purchased off us between 365 days ago to 60 days ago so you see here that i'm greater than the min which is the first day of the month that's why i've used min so I've said, go and look back from the very first day of this particular this particular month, say June 2017, 
and look back 365 days and then also look at uh, at 60 days back from the very first day in this particular month so that's going to give me a 10 month window and that is going to give me a list of customers who purchased in that 10 month window then I'm going to do exactly the same but I'm going to do it based on the last 60 days from the first day of the month okay so we're looking at two months back right we're not looking at the current month anything in the current month we're looking at um, how many customers purchased of us two months prior to the current month and that's what this particular uh, table is going to create and then what we can do is we can say well how many of these customers purchased in that prior period but did not purchase in this particular period and then what accept is going to do which is another table function is it's going to return a another it's going to return another virtual table of just the customers who were in this table but not in this one and then we are going to consider those customers as lost right and we're going to go times minus one so that's how we get this particular number here but then I want to show you and this is the last part I want to show you is how do we get this list of customers okay now this particular result is uh, it's got a different name here because of another additional uh, visualization trick I've put inside here but what I want to show you is that there's basically this formula here okay so customer revenue lost now this logic these two variables these two virtual tables here are exactly the same nothing different okay what's different is that we are placing we are trying to calculate an amount how much are we actually considering lost okay and what this does is it actually brings a value it actually brings a value into this table and will blank out every other value and by blanking it out what it does is it then does not show up that customer you know, a customers who and we are not considering lost and so all we will see is a sales amount uh, of customers who we are considering lost and that's how we get this dynamic calculation based on say the selection that we're making right so i can change that i'm going to just change adjust the time frame here and come back and select so we've got we've got eight customers here we're considering lost right i'll go back to the formula just quickly so what we've done is we've then instead of going count rows accept what we've done is we've used this as some context inside of a calculate function now there is part of some slight additional complexity here and uh, I think that's quite interesting as well so what we've got here is that you can't just go and calculate up total sales uh, and then go accept uh, and then create some additional fill context in this in this filter of just those particular customers because you've got to remember that if we're in this particular month the sales is going to count up how much did that customer make in the current month and that's not really relevant right because we're trying to work out well who have we lost which customers have we actually lost and what is their sales over uh, what are we considering sales that we have lost what is it what is that what is that um, sales amount and so what I've done and again this is this is probably open to debate but what I have done in this case just to um, you know, complete the example is said we'll go and work out the total sales between this time period here okay go and work out what the customer sales who we're considering lost what were their sales in that time period there and then bring in that particular sales and show it in the in the in the actual in this particular context and so what we needed to do is we needed to do basically a calculate within a calculate for that so quite interesting right so this is think about this as one calculation like the measure calculation inside of calculate and then this is what is actually doing the filtering for those customers that we consider lost so this is a really advanced topic really advanced video i know i know it is but it's just such interesting stuff right seriously seriously interesting and it's very you know reusable if you're trying to implement logic like this you would just probably you know and you've got some idea around the you know the time frames that you consider someone lost etc well then this is where you need to make the adjustment you need to understand how this works how the virtual tables work and then how you can incorporate your own you know considered logic into it okay i'm going to wrap things up uh if you like this one you know if you've really enjoyed learning about this and you, you can throw the video a like i would really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe to enterprise cna tv lots of content coming out soon can't wait to get that out to you okay all the best talk to you soon